This is a dreaded one, I think, for anyone. The sex, the talk, the, the sexual behavior. How does that affect children and teens? Well, we have to remember that uh, the brain of the adolescent is not completely mature. And so there's behavior that is good and there's behavior that is risky. Right. So, and what happens is that uh, in the adolescent, the, the, some parts of the brain, especially in the frontal areas, are willing to take risk. And, uh, and they have tremendous amount of, uh, of uh, substances in the brain that make you take a risk. In, and sexual in, behavior in falls that, into that in risk. That is, and that is one of the things that, that there's not a good control over that because right. the maturity is not there yet. However, inside the brain, in some other area of the brain, there's an area that you want to get satisfaction. You know, so you want to get satisfaction from whatever behavior you do. And one of the areas is sex. Uh, so, and that starts early in life by nature. Right. Uh, and that's why you see historically that a lot of people who were young, they were getting pregnant, 10 years old, 12 years old, and it was by nature. However, now, it becomes that the risky, uh, the risk of taking this sex into a uh, behavior that you have to do is also pushed by the society pressures, right. by peer pressure. And so that really makes it more, more of a, something that uh, is an enjoyable situation. So. It affects all the teenagers. It will be abnormal if, it if, it, if a child or teenager didn't have that sexual behavior coming into. So it, I think it's a, it's a big challenge. I, I mean, it's, it's not easy to talk. It's, it's not easy to, to explain. And it's probably each case is very individual.